Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts and to the Japanese campaign where this month, October 1948, well, I haven't seen yet, but it looks a little quieter. Uh, to start off with, we've got a couple of destroyers going at each other. Um, shouldn't be the world's most serious thing in the world. Uh, there is some news to share. We are now up to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts version 1.4.1.1. .1. Exciting stuff. Um, they did some bug fixing, basically. Um, and that, of course, means that I am now on a slightly updated version of the mod, which is 1.3.0. And that it brings live the update for everyone else. Uh, if you haven't got it already, uh, the fix for torpedoes not doing any damage <laughs> late in the campaign. And as well, I slightly increased the uh, denial zones um, on task forces so you should be able to block uh, block straights a little bit more easily and you should be able to force and engage with an enemy fleet a little bit more easily um, it's just a little bit of a change uh, if you are coming onto this I didn't include all of the ow, all of the upgrade uh, upgrades all of the changes the devs made to the AI because I've already made my own changes to the values that they fiddled with but I have imported some of them I hope that makes sense um, they changed the AI's risk factor uh, downwards uh, from 1 to 0 0.1 so I kept that change but I chain kept the change they made to how far away an AI division is happy to go from the others. But I didn't bring over their changes to scouting or screening groups because I'm pretty happy with how those are working. So, didn't feel the need to change it. Well, there we go. Two destroyers. Well, yeah, suck. Which is very nice. Right. What else have we got? All right, welcome back to the map. Uh, we've got 429 uh, tons under repair or refit, um, which is quite a lot. Uh, quite a lot of those repairs will be finished in a month. And I think nearly all the refits are done. Uh, have I picked up all of the Asima 35s? No, because some of them are repairing, but some of the refits are in battle. Okay, interesting. Okay, good. It does seem a little bit quieter. Um, I think all the action is in, yeah, Southeast Asia region. Uh, naval invasions, because I've been asked to check. Uh, the invasion of Sarawak is at 100. Oh, yeah, I was going to see if I could. Nope. I can navally invade Britain, but I don't have a fleet spare to do it. Uh, Tonkin is at 100%. And Dutch New Guinea is at 100%. And, oh, actually, no, there was another one I wanted to start on Great Britain, which is the Cook Islands. Cook Islands, yes, please. Should be able to do that. And you can see here, this is the slightly enhanced... Uh, Denial zones. If that's too big and they start causing a problem again, I mean, that's a fairly big one. You can see that they do vary in size. This one's smaller because it's just a single light cruiser. Oh, battleships. Hello, where are you going? Towards Manila. Okay. Interesting. Uh, let's go north to south this time. So let's start with this convoy. Convoy defense. And we've got, yes, we've got one of the Asima refits in here. Very eager to see how she performs.
Right. So yeah, this is the ass mode, isn't it? Class. Refitted and ready for love? No. <laughs> um <laughs> uh, definitely refitted with that enhanced superstructure, four and a half belt. Uh the Gen 3 radar. All of which should help significantly. Oh, that's actually one of their good cruisers. Yeah, we want to sink that. Fairly large American task force. Usual tactics. We will... Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> Yoko getting some very long-range hits there. We will advance till we have a reasonable chance to hit. And I'm reasonably sure we've... Dodged torps. Yeah. Go this way, that'll entice a launch. So go this way for a little bit. And then we'll turn. Oh, our own torps going out. It's also something to watch out for when you're manoeuvring. Where the hell's that torpedo come from? <laughs> Genuinely confusing. Okay, something just sank. And um, yeah, that's a destroyer or a light cruiser or something. Nice hit. Let's turn again. Oh ho! Okay, taking a few hits, which I'm not overly fond of. No, she's taking too much heat here. firing at HE. You just find more torpedoes at me. Delightful. Oh, rude. Taking a lot of damage, which is not sunk yet. That might do it. Charles J. Badger. Right, switch to auto, and we need to take out the Palmer.
go, getting some hits. Oh, there we go. Some decent damage there. Oh, no, 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 no. Back you go. Getting good damage in on the uh, Palmer here. Sun sinks. Bugger. Annoying. She took a big hit. Yeah, a bunch of nine inch hits caused flooding. Is that a main belt pen? Yeah, main belt pen. Hmm. Come on, get him. At least for now. More flooding. Very good. Got him. Okay, should be able to deal with the uh, remaining cruisers. Cruisers? Destroyers. Wish they were cruisers, in a way. Make up for the loss of a heavy of our own. You off. How are they still able to do partial pins? What are they hitting? Half belt? No way you should be able to do anything to the half belt. Not with an HE round. AI is problem. There. Penetration model in this game is so janky. Ah, oh, I'm annoyed. Shiba class sinks. Nah. Still, we did sink a fair, a fair amount more, but it is irritating. Back to the map. Okay, next up, I think we'll do the Chukuma versus the Cotton. Uh, yes, is this? No, this is a Tengu. Okay. Might be worth doing a new heavy cruiser class, seeing as they, that seems to be a, a very in-demand um, category of ship.
do do do, but we don't have any real capacity to do it. <laughs> and should I just rebuild the the Mizuho's the twelve inch battle cruisers? Is also my thought, but it might be worth looking at, just because maybe once the A one fifties are done. Which is getting delayed quite a lot, so yeah. Well, they are not keen to fight me. Why are you running? Please tell me they didn't break the AI again. <laughs> Stone chases are no fun. I'm not sure why it's withdrawing. It could just be a, a legitimate case of withdrawing. It's just I haven't seen a cruiser do this for a while. And that is actually withdrawing. That's not the kiting behavior. That is a full on withdraw going directly away from my ship. I think the chance of that happening is about 25%. Um, if the AI thinks you're a reasonable match. most interesting fight to watch though. Curse you AI and your sound tactical decisions getting away of engaging content. Could be that they've seen all those torpedoes and are like, um, no thank you. But unusually cowardly by the cotton. So far the uh, Americans have been pretty willing to engage.
Oh, they get a hit in. How cheeky. Should we give them something else to worry about? Stop it. Okay. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Back to the map. Okay, I think this is going to be a good test because this 4v4 type battle we've seen a lot. Um, and there's no reason why the AI should retreat now when they haven't in the past. They've been perfectly keen to stay at a sensible range and engage. And if it's a bit weird, I will try an experimental fix. Because uh, I know what values got changed. Um, and we can see if that's what the problem was. And there they are. They are actually coming towards me. That's promising. Let's very quickly uh, manually assign fire orders. Which I don't know if that will actually work. I'll probably have to reassign them once they actually get in range. Lucky early hit. Jesus. Right. You. You. You're not in range yet. There you are. You're not in range yet. Now you are. Okay. Ah, there we go. Finally getting some hits in return. One of them is cycling. Gitsu is taking a lot of hits here. Gonna detach and withdraw her. Ooh. some kills. Yeah, they're not IDs yet. No. Oof. Let's turn again. Alright, got one. Good. Oof. Definitely 
and getting some serious damage in. Albany sinks, two left. Washington, and whoever the other one is. See, they're, they're trying to keep range at the moment. That's fine. Okay, uh, maybe, maybe it was just luck. I'll keep an eye on the AI's behavior. Killing blows here. Utah, I think, is cycling out. Still not a killing blow. Maybe move in a bit more. Oh, we start to run out of shells. Washington is badly both of them are badly damaged. But we seem to be trying to do it through structure, which is the slowest way to sink a ship. Yeah, now they're retreating, which is totally reasonable. Utah succumbs. Washington is next. Uh, I have a comment in particular, but yeah, I don't know why the. Uh, I'm gonna have to check the name name lists, but yeah, Utah is not an appropriate name for a U.S. heavy cruiser. Arguably, Washington isn't either, but it could be uh, named after. The person, not the state. Anyway. Um, another four American light. Light? 
heavy, heavy cruisers sent to the bottom. All right, last actual battle, uh, the Takari versus the Connecticut. Again, incorrectly named. So must be sunk. Yeah, much quieter this month. We've maybe, uh, maybe <laughs> reduced the uh, cruiser force just enough that they uh, aren't um, quite as able to mount aggressive operations against us. Take out this heavy cruiser, although it does look like it's wanting to just get away from me. Could just be that it's wanting to get to a better range for it. Uh, it's not firing back at this stage. May well be that I have torpedoes on board. And it is just not a fan. Oh, lovely. Well, I guess we can take out the destroyers. That is a withdraw. Hmm. It feels like a withdraw. See, now it looks like they're kiting again. Hmm. Right, we'll blow up his escorts. This is a really cool little destroyer, by the way. <laughs> Very similar to a shared design. Or two that I put in the uh, uh, ship pack. It is not the actual design, though. Uh, it is different once we get it ID'd. Come on, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96. Come on, 97. There we go. So, half an inch all over, 36 knots, 2,000 ish tons with 5.237s. Not a caliber I've used in the ship pack. Um, but I've definitely, I would definitely use a layout like this. That is very cool. Uh, 23 inch torps uh, reduced ammo again kind of choice I'd make I wouldn't use that set up semi-ballistic light tube powder shell uh, TNT shells um, but yeah this this quite a nice design How much are they one two five. See if we can blap it. Okay. I was just admiring it, but yeah. You're going to get wrecked if you uh, are engaged by something like that. Right. Back to chasing down the Connecticut. Oh, really? Uh, use high explosive, please. The 
just because of the angle. AP shells are mostly going to ricochet. They do have a very weak main deck, uh, these ships, but it's quite hard to actually hit their main deck uh, with another cruiser. Even though, at, actually, at this angle, hitting the main deck should be really easy. Like, an AP shell comes in like this. Goes right down inside the ship, through the main deck, and explodes in here somewhere. But again, the game's uh, penetration model is not that sophisticated. That's not to say it's not sophisticated, I just mean it isn't able to uh, model that sort of thing, or complicated things like that. Um, as far as the game concerned, the, the, the main deck armour of a ship like this would be kind of here. Maybe back here, right? depending on how big the still is. But it, it, it would be down here, close to the waterline. And the belts would be like a, a strip close to the waterline and this bit up here wouldn't be armoured although there would be a little armoured bit going up to the turret um, on the side but again the game the game doesn't model any of that it's just you know this is the belt the whole side this is the deck the whole top and it's right at the surface fair enough much easier to code like that If you ever see uh, penetration weirdness, um, yes, it's <laughs> definitely a, a thing. Oh, I have no ammo on the top, so they've actually blown them up. Just stunning. That's what you want. Right. Oh, they've got a torp left. Oh, and we're doing stupid things. I mean, we did hurt them quite a lot there. Yeah, we got them. That's the main thing. Even if that was very messy at the end. That's why I hate stern chasers. Not a fun battle. Right, uh, back to the map. All right, I uh, ticked over into November. I also, uh, in between, very uh, quickly went back into the game files and it wasn't the AI risk that they changed. It was the AI power exponent and they changed it from 1 to 0 0.1. I put it back to 1 because I think that was causing issues. Anyway, a whole bunch of uh, destroyers here having a go at the Aku, Haku sorry, and the Tengu. Haku needs to be in the shipyards for a refit. So I'm immediately going to retreat her whilst the other ship, the, I've forgotten the name of her already. So Haku, you need to get out of here like now. Whereas Miyoko, please don't take any damage, fuck. Okay, well, there's no point now. You might as well stay in. But we're going to split up. And we're going to move away. Up. Fuck, fuck, fuck. As they started extremely close to us. Whoa, I saw a torpedo diver. Okay, it was a dud. Okay. Uh. <laughs> right. With all that out of the way, could we sink these buggers, please? Even that tiny amount of damage means Haku will go back in for a refit. Just uh, re refit. Back in for a repair, which is 
very frustrating. Again, really do wish we could uh, say that ships under repairs, once their repairs are finished, they are to go and get a refit. Still, we can punish these uh, destroyers for their annoying behaviour. Always nice to take out a bunch of destroyers at once, rather than having to fight them individually. But uh, yeah, that's irritating that Haki took light damage. Ah. Okay, November's a busy month. <laughs> oh dearie me. Right, uh, invasions. Uh, any of them going to finish up anytime soon? Two of six. Got four going on. One of six, two of six, three of seven, five of six. So this one's going to finish. This is... Oh, this is the Yamatos. Okay. Okay, so once the Yamatos are finished, uh, they could maybe try and take Cambodia. That's uh, going to be tough. Probably best off taking Northern Borneo. Uh, actually, I might be able to do a sneaky thing and double, because Brunei, the, the circle, sh I should be able to get uh, this fleet, the 14-inch uh, fleet, in both circles at once. Uh, so that'll save some time. Uh, right, let's go north to south again. <sighs> Oh, my goodness. So many battles. So many. Just slowly chipping away at them. I have uh, restarted the Haifa and the uh, Akuma. Oh, you're already on follow. Lovely. Um simply to... Oh, these are light cruisers. Okay, cool. Simply to try and get them done. Uh, it's gonna still going to take a while. Oh, we've got the Euro in here. Uh, follow. Follow. Oh, jump, jump in the torps early. I like that. You able to get yours off, Tengu? Guns are hitting home, at least. Ho-ho! Sunk one. I'm going to turn, because I'm assuming there are torpedoes being launched at me. Oh, we're launching our own. Lovely. Oh, fuck. That was just one of my own, wasn't it? <laughs> Jesus. Like cruiser getting obliterated in the meantime. Yeah, that was a friendly talk. Who did that? Hmm. Who did it? Delkazi, you naughty, naughty ship. 
At least I think it was them. Because... Oh, we actually got a torpedo hit. A couple of torpedo hits in on the enemy that I totally missed. Including a really big one. <laughs> okay. Tell me in the comments. Timestamp it. When did that happen? Next battle. Alright, next up, a couple of light cruisers against a Nishin. Oh, there was me thinking that this wouldn't be a fun fight. But yes, this is a very fun fight. Don't see the Nishins very often. Um, they are still in the active fleet, despite being extremely old. <laughs> um, been in the uh, fleet for quite a long time. Look really funny with the modern guns. I kind of love it though. You've got a really cool aesthetic going with that. Obviously not fast. So I'm going to assume there's a couple of torpedoes headed my way. Yep, there they are. Oh, there we go. Shots telling. Sunk. I'll learn you. Get off my lawn. <laughs> uh... Got him. See, don't don't mess with your elders. Okay, they fight a torpedo. Don't mess with their, your elders. They will mess you up. Ah, they didn't count. See, zero damage. More light cruisers. This time it's a 4v4 light cruiser fight. Oh, storm. Lovely. <laughs> bouncy, bouncy, bounce. There we go. Now, what's the AI doing? No, uh, not a lot. Launching torpedoes is what they're doing. Let's just wait for them to all launch. Right. Because they'll be fired like this. Start firing our own. Right, now that we've launched ours, let's turn back. Oh, very nice. Wonderful, accurate gunnery. That is a light cruiser sunk already. Yeah. 
еще. Where my torpedoes have gone? <laughs> Somewhere. Yeah, they're not running away yet. That's good to see. Right, one left. See, I like cruisers outclass the American light cruisers so much. And yet the heavy cruisers were surprisingly evenly matched. Um, yeah, do, uh, I'm thinking more heavy cruisers. Anyway, can't do that right now. More fighting. More 4v4 cruiser action. And this will give me a perfect test of if... Uh, if I've made a positive change or not. Because, yeah, we don't want to see any withdrawing going on. Staying at range, fine. Withdrawing, not. Uh, yeah, it's just go normal to start with. Do they have any good heavies here? Yeah, this is... Hmm. Oh, it's the Brits. I thought it was the Americans. No, no, it's the British. Mm hmm. You can take on that one. You can take on that one. You can take on that one. And you can take on that one. Give us the Americans again. It's not. It's the British. They've scraped some ships together. Taking massive damage from HE shells at range. That's not a good sign. Yeah, the Royal Navy heavy cruisers are nowhere near as good as the American ones. Look at this. Getting absolutely devastated. Ridiculous. Uh, yeah, a Narcissus class, about as useful as a chocolate teapot. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Next up is the Juno. Okay, I should be able to take her out pretty easily. Do, 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 do. And then, really, I want to have a look at fleet numbers, because... <laughs> Yeah, it's, I think it's a good idea to keep an eye on that. Our own fleet, uh, of course, is uh, not infinite by any means. Hmm. <laughs> Range target? 20. 
should be in range. There we go. Oh, wow, look at that. Main belt pin at extreme range. Sinking this ship almost instantly. Bloody hell. <laughs> I said uh, they're like cruisers. The Americans like cruisers were no match for ours. Oh, that kind of shows you what I'm talking about. Okay, another 4v4 this time against American heavy cruisers. Oh, jeez, just endless endless swarms and this is normal difficulty i'm playing this on i'll point out um this is the first time i've played this mod obviously because i've made it but yeah that is totally crazy like just the um sheer number of ships that we've been chewing through Asma's a little bit low on ammunition. But uh, otherwise, we're looking okay. Here are their ships. So they got one of the good ones. Another one of the good ones. Oh, these are all good so far. Uh, what's the one in the back? Not as good. Can still be a threat, though. Right. Let's get our targets assigned. Sugi. Asuma. Kayo. And then Targo on the rear one as well. Just at dawn as well. Getting the better of the early exchanges, for sure. A few moderately damaging hits going in. damaging them quite a lot now but no ships have gone down yet that one is close right one goes down two goes down hit back. Right, what's the last one doing? Uh, not quite sure. Maybe trying to stay really quite far away. This is the one with the, what, 10.1s? Yeah. so that we can start getting some hits on him. Like that. Very nice. I think I heard a torpedo launch. Sneaky and rude. Taking a ton of damage, though. Got 
gone. Good. Very good. All right, next up we have the Laws and the Monterey. They're up against the Kuma class. Uh, one more battle to do after this. Then I'm going to have to take a break because, oh my goodness, this just extreme level of uh, intensity in terms of just the number of battles and ships involved. This is not at all uh, normal, but it is very cool. I am loving this uh, since the US got involved. This is absolute crazy amounts of combat, which is great. And all the battles have been fun. Uh, I haven't been uh, pissed off with many of them, except when the AI was running away. And uh, they just seem to have stopped doing that. So, yeah, it looks like I'm going to be pushing an app up, uh, an app update, uh, a mod update to address that. A torpedo hit. Who did that? Oh, it was from the uh, Amatsukaze. Amatsukaze, sorry. Very nice. Light cruiser down. Got him. Okay. Last one. We have the Thomas, San Francisco class. Got a fair escort. <laughs> Plenty of uh, torpedoes we can send her way. Especially if we take out the light cruiser first. Do, do, do. Bo, bo, boom. Do, do. Like they want to close in at the moment. Understandable. Cruiser though, taking damage. It's just gotten a slightly out of range. driving them away from the convoy.
only the AP shells can reach, I think. Range 22-4. Ah, we could hit them with HE. Is that a torpedo, I see? It is, but missing. Come on. Nah, they're moving away again. So, not a successful fix. Must be something at the developer level. Because they really shouldn't be running away here. Okay. Got the light. Yeah, and this technically isn't them running away. I think they are trying to get to a superior range. Okay, you can dud torpedo on the destroyers. And they are still able to fire. No, 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 cease. Cease your heresy. Lovely stuff. Come on. Put me out of my misery here. Sink him. See, it's no fun. Find chasing after a fleeing ship. So it's the least fun battle. I think they've uh, changed something on the back end. I think I've had more stern chases this episode than I have in like the last four or five put together. Oh my goodness. Right, let's go check fleet numbers. Okay, we really have made a dent. The US is down to 19 heavy cruisers. 53 light cruisers, 9 destroyers. 13 battleships, but they haven't been engaging us. So we actually have more heavy cruisers than they do. Way. <laughs> uh... Good, good, good. Right. Uh, what are we on? Six ninety-nine. That's not enough to uh, get another Akuma unsuspended. But we at least are restarting some construction. 
whilst an enormous number of ships get repaired. <laughs> so many ships getting repairs. Uh, and if you're thinking, why are there stuff in battle? It's an ambush that I don't want to do. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.